I'm gonna be using big baits off the beach to catch a big fish. So we're gonna be using yakka hole, mac tuna steaks, mullet, and herring hole to see what sort of fish we can catch, starting with yakka. That there, folks, is a yakka. We're gonna butterfly this. Let's go. Oh my god. Actually, we won't try to fill it backwards because we got nothing to push against. When push comes to shove, there was no shove because we couldn't push. So I'm gonna stab it. That's a decent effort there for a bait, I think. We'll put him on the hook now. So we'll make our way here. So I've got two hook rig. Let's go slap him on. Head first. And we'll put the other one through the side. There you go. That's it. Let's give it a sniff test. Smells like a fish is gonna hit this one. All right, here we go. It's already, it's already sandy, so I'll just lay it along the sand there. Do a couple of those ones. All right, let's make our way down to the water's edge now. I'm hoping for a good fish with this, guys. Here we go. There it is. It sounded like it flew out very far. Stick the pole in the hole. <laughs> oh yes guys, yes. We're having fun here. Let's set that bait, set that drag a bit. Okay. Boom. I wonder how long now we gotta wait before we get some bites, but hopefully not too long now. Definitely have more power in that car. Yeah, that's good. Oh, nice bite. There you go. Yep. Yep. He's on that. Whatever it is, it's coming in much easier. It's coming in. Oh, it's, it's definitely weight, but... But, uh, there he is, he's, he's, he's in. There we go. We have a blind shark. Didn't put up a good fight there, actually. <laughs> good good heavy take, but, oh my God, he's, um, he's a vicious little thing, huh? Looks like this one is another plier's job. Orthodontist shroom, here we go. Oh. He got me. There he goes. There he is. Look at that. You. Honestly, I don't envy what this uh, fish has to go through. He's in the water somewhere. <laughs> All right. Let's choose the next bait. That was a yakka. That's what happened. Let's go see this bait here. I've been looking forward to using this mac tuna. Look at that, how good's that? How good's that for a bait? This is a tough bait to cut too, by the way. Ah! Ah! Woo! Look at that. <laughs> there we go, there we go. That's the bait right there. We'll go back over to where the rod is and we'll rig this up right now. I'm just twisting it through there. There we go, that's one. I reckon something's gonna hit that. Next cast, here we go. First one with the Mac Tuna. I fired that out as far as I could. I felt good, that one. Here we go, once again. I'm interested to see what we're gonna be able to hook up with this new bait tonight. I'm hoping for a good fish, whatever it is. You don't get Mac Tuna every day of the week, let me tell you that. <laughs> Yep, this might be on here. What is it this time? Let's find out. Uh. Ah, here we go, here we go. Let's see what we got here. It's not feeling too... Oh, it came off, I think. It came off. Oh, it came off. Look at that. Wonder what that one was. It it came off ashore the fish. I could feel a thumping. It's been chewed from the bottom. Sadly coming tomorrow. 
Oh, there we go. We got something there. It might be Taylor, actually. I might give it. Yeah, yeah. It's a big bait we got on here. We might actually have a fish on here. Oh. No, it's come off, I think. Yeah, it got smacked. That's the story of the fillet of mac tuna. Oh, wow. I don't know whether I should wait or just strike. Sometimes when you see bites like that, it gets you excited. Yep. Took that. We got a good strike on that hit too. Timed it. Whatever it is, oh, it's coming in. Is it still there? Oh, don't tell me it's gone now. Oh my God. Oh no, that there is my bait. With all these missed fish, we decided to change to a single hook rig for the moment. Alright, we just changed to a single hook, so we're just going to try something different, see if the hook, whatever it is, that's been taking our baits. We think it's a quality fish out there, so... There you go. Yeah, that's a tailor. becomes a bait stealer. I'm joking. This is a quality catch. That's good. The pants. Silver brim. Yellow fin brim guys. I just sang silver because it's nice and silver off the beach. That's all. Woo! Smells like metallic silver. There we go. Look at that. Went all the way to the beach just to catch a brim when I could have caught this in the river. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> so that's what the Mac tuna did. Now it was time to give the mullet a go. Mullet, here we go. Big, big bait for a big fish. This doesn't work. We will still have herring to try. Here we go, big long cast now. That's on. That's on there, boys and girls. <laughs> Woo! There we go. That's the drag sound we all like. We got a big hook up here. Wonder if you need to burn off any more steam. We're gonna winch him in. You're not getting away from us guys. We're gonna bring this guy in very shortly. He got good weight. Gotta be getting close now.
There he is. There he is. Whoa, he's strong, huh? He is strong, this guy. Woo! This is on the mullet. Woo! We got a fish on yakas, mac tuna. Now, now, now with a bit of mullet. Oh, I'm, I'm tired. I got to put him down. <laughs> Look at him there. Let's get that pop. Ah, there it is. All right, let's go send him back. I'm not sure whether he swam off or the, the water just carried him back sideways. He was barrel rolling, but he's good. He hasn't been out of the water for long. Arms are feeling a bit longer, guys. <laughs> Let's go put on another bait, yeah? So we've used mullet, we've used mac tuna, we've used yakas. This is the last bait that I haven't used yet. This is a herring. I've only got a single hook on this rig, so we're going to send it out whole just like that. What do you reckon? We're going to get anything? Let me know. I really hope so. Let's go find out right now. Let's get to the water's edge. Let's go pick up the rod, wind up the slack. We need to send this to the moon, but the moon's behind the clouds. So we're going to go beyond the clouds, I guess. Is that light good? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Wow. Slingshotted that out. Now, I refuse to believe that this bait's not going to get smashed by something. Disclosure, full disclosure. I have actually not caught anything decent on a herring before, so I really don't know what we could catch. What do you guys reckon? Do you guys like using herring? Or you don't like using herring? We're going to find out right now. It's out there in the, in, in the big wide ocean. <laughs> Herring's not doing so well. It's never done well for me. That's oh. how I was saying, yeah. yeah. But it's good to compare with yakas. Yeah. Now you now you can see why I'm, I don't really feel herring that much. Up until we land a meter due right now, of course. Yeah, then you take then, uh, yeah, then I'll take every, I'll eat my words, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just bring it back in the bait. It's been probably like 15 minutes. No action. No bites. I think we'll go back to one of the other baits. Really thought that we would have got a bite on this. Yeah, look at that. The bait's um, largely untouched. So yeah, I think this, this bait not not too good right now. Let's go change. Okay, I'm showing this the head because you can't tell what this is. This is just a bit of the mullet. Mullet steak, we're going to put that on instead of this bait which we just took off, the herring. Herring no good, so see you later. All right, here we go. Let's go put it through the, the sinewy bit. That, all right, I'm liking that. Muller did well earlier, so I expect bites straight away. Here we go, back onto the fish catching train. Oh. See that, the reel almost slipped out of my hand. <laughs> Oh my god, things happen in the middle of the night guys, that's all I could say. If that's not a sign that I'm trying to belt the bait out, I don't know what was. That rod, luckily I was still holding on with one hand there and we grabbed the back. Yeah? Yep. Oh, there we go. Oh no, it popped off. Oh, did you hear that? That drag, it popped off, snipped off. I reckon we lost the, the hook and everything. Yeah. It was toothy, whatever that one was. Doesn't this look gourmet? Back on to the Mac tuna fillet, uh, steak.
that's it. This time, hopefully, we're gonna get snipped off. It ran in just a bit there, too. So I'm going to go a bit to the side here, he must be close. There he is, I think I just saw him there. It's going back to, to the side here. Oh, it's come free. He's come free. He's come free. He's come free. He's come free. Oh. <laughs> we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Oh my god. He came off the hook, but I for a second for a second what happened there was um what flashed in front of my eyes was that, imagine if it was a juice fish, so I thought I'd run and <laughs> go grab him. Oh, never a dull moment on the beach, guys. Look at that, the hook came straight off. We're at a single hook. Oh, he's heavy. This is the best one of the night. He's heavy. He's heavy. He a big boy. Here we go, De unhooked him. Yes. Biggest one of the night. I think I just measured my arms to be about a meter longer. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Interesting captures. We got some big fish, didn't we? Nice dusky whalers there. Anyway, we set out a big bait. That wasn't so successful. Steve and I, we're gonna get out of here right now, but if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments what you liked about it. If you wanna see this again, and watch this next video that's playing.